Join me for a whirlwind 24-hour adventure in one of the most amazing cities in the world, Hong Kong. I really wish we had more places like this back home in New Zealand. From delicious eats and local favourites to breathtaking first impressions, come and explore with me. The icon of Hong Kong. Experience a touch of history and natural beauty as I spend the next 24 hours right here. Man, I was about to give up, but there he is. And enjoy this amazing view. Good morning fam, we are back in beautiful, vibrant Hong Kong City. I flew in late last night and unfortunately I'm only here for a day and then I fly out tomorrow. But I'm going to show you how I make the most of a perfect day in Hong Kong. Let's go. There was something really special about this place. The surrounding buildings created this oasis of calm amidst the hustle and bustle of the busy city. Birds were chirping in the trees, people were getting their morning exercise in, and it just made for a really peaceful and tranquil environment. This was the perfect start to the day. Then what better way to start your day than at an amazing place like this, man? I really wish we had more places like this back home in New Zealand. When I got here last night, I'd already looked it up, and it's just normal, but man, I didn't expect this. I came last Last night the floodlights are all on there's a full outdoor soccer field right there there was a team playing properly full uniforms everything man and then they had some kids basketball leagues running here there's four full courts here proper ref official and all the gears they look to be probably about 12 11 12 years old and then you've had social games pickup games running at all the other courts awesome like so good and then you've got people behind me exercising going for their daily walks it's about what seven something in the morning here everyone's out like getting active I saw it looked like a grandmother and, and a granddaughter they were just walking around here just getting some air some exercise what a perfect way to start the day so that is stop one now stop two let's go get something to eat I stayed and watched the sunrise through the buildings then headed off into the neighborhood to our next destination Capital Cafe Capital Cafe is a popular spot known for its classic Hong Kong style comfort food including silky scrambled eggs and toast served in a nostalgic retro setting. Alright fam, we're here at stop number two. We're gonna get some breakfast and we are in Wan Chai, which is where I'm staying, which is an amazing neighborhood, super vibrant, plenty of things to see and do, plenty of restaurants, little spots like this. And I've heard that this place, Capital Cafe, is an awesome little local Hong Kong food spot. So we're gonna go and check it out. I heard they got some amazing scrambled eggs, so let's go try. I know it can be quite intimidating going to a foreign country and walking into any local food spot, but trust me, do it once and you'll see how easy it actually is. The staff here were super friendly and had no problems with me filming at all. This cafe had a really awesome vibe but was full of locals and after checking up the menu I went for the big western breakfast. Alright friend, we got some scrambled eggs, we've got some corn, some baked beans, a hash brown, uh, some bacon, so western breakfast and some toast as well, that looks chunky as, yeah, looks really good. Western breakfast, but this is what they're known for man, local spot, let's, let's go. Alright, first up, let's try these scrambled eggs that I've heard so much about. Ah, oh, yeah, they're good. Like what is man? No. Hash brown. Mm. Nice crunchy. Stop in the middle. Perfect. It's good. I think the corners are nice touch. <clears throat> The sweet corn at home, back in New Zealand. We have sweet corn, which is like cream corn. I've never had just corn, plain corn. It's still nice, very good. Nice crunch, nice and sweet. Very good breakfast, man. Highly recommend. Come check it out. That breakfast was awesome. I'm super full and it only costs six dollars us plus they were super nice to them and really really friendly and they spoke great english as well we are here at one Tai promenade overlooking the beautiful silhouette of hong kong city in the harbor itself and it wouldn't be a trip to hong kong unless you took a trip on the star ferry 
the icon of Hong Kong. Looks a bit old school, but that's all good. I've never done it before. So that's our next stop. Let's go do that. Right, so we've got a little token there. It's only five Hong Kong dollars, which is hardly anything, man. I'm gonna jump on that. I don't know if I could have used my octopus, but I thought it'd be cool just to get one of the tokens. The Star Fury, a historic staple in Hong Kong since the 1880s, offers one of the most scenic and affordable ways to cross Victoria Harbour. This iconic ferry service provides stunning views of the city skyline, making it a favourite among tourists and locals alike. The journey between Jim Sadre and Central is not just a commute, but a moment to witness the bustling port and the dramatic urban backdrop truly capturing the essence of Hong Kong. Right fam, so that was a quick little 10 minute cruise across the harbour in that old school uh, ship and that would have been amazing if it weren't for the super loud tourist behind me. We just love the sound of his voice. Some people just need to chill and enjoy what's happening around them man. But hope you guys enjoyed it, on to the next one. The Avenue of Stars in Hong Kong, modelled after Hollywood's Walk of Fame, celebrates the city's cinematic history. Located along the Victoria Harbour waterfront in Jim Sartre, it offers spectacular views of the skyline and features plaques honouring Hong Kong film industry legends, making it a must-visit for movie fans and a picturesque spot for some dope Instagram pics. Welcome to the Avenue of the Stars. Now, I'll be honest, this wasn't actually on the itinerary, but the ferry stopped in a place where I didn't think it would and it was just right here so I thought why not. It's got beautiful views of Hong Kong skyline so I understand why people check it out. Unfortunately I don't know any of these actors but I do know Jackie Chan and I do know that there is a statue of Bruce Lee here so I'm on a mission to find that. Let's go. Man that dude is super professional man he's, he's just doing his thing man all these people around people staring at him videoing him and he's just, man, he's on point, even though he's standing on a step ladder. <laughs> you can actually do a dim sum cruise on one of those old junk boats, and I hear it's pretty good, man. It's like upmarket stuff, so it might be an option. All right, I can't find Bruce. I found Bruce. Bruce. Man, I was about to give up. I, kind of had enough of this place, but there he is. Let's go play our respects. And there it is fam, we found Bruce. And the fact that he's standing in that water is dope because you know, he'd be like water my friend, that was one of his things. I'm happy. Happy. Welcome to our last adventure in Hong Kong. Just me. <laughs> this is actually the rooftop of my hotel. Uh, grab yourself a rooftop anywhere and enjoy this amazing view. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful city view all by myself.